Uh, in this particular module, we're going to cover the use of 3D models in ArcCam Express. Uh, for this training session, we're going to focus on using the models that are in the Relief Clip Art library within the software. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on New Model. And when I click on New Model, you'll see that the uh, height and the width in this particular project, we're going to set it at 12 inches in height, 12 inches in width. The origin position is in the top left corner. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, our workspace is in front of us here. Over here on the right hand side in the second row of icons, you'll see that there's an option here for a relief clip art library. When I click on it, it opens up the library and you'll see that these uh, there are several different categories. Some of these relief cart uh, clip pieces of relief clip art have been uh, contributed by companies that many of them will have websites that offer 3D models that can be purchased. Some of them are also designed by the ArtCam folks, and you can see that some of them are categorized in, in terms of their theme. In this case, we've got animals, we have banners, uh, we go down here to Egyptian, uh, and so on. So there will be some common themes. I'm just going to go to animals, and I'm going to select this deer. And you can see as I select it, the silhouette or the profile of the the deer, uh, the outside vector is showing, and it's also on the right-hand side in our tool settings transform window. You can see that um, there are several different options that we can choose in terms of how to set up this uh, particular project. Uh, first thing you'll notice in the scale and size, we've got the width and the height. We have mass maintained the aspect ratio so that the width and the height are locked. If I was to click that lock a second time, you'll notice that now it also includes the Z-range. So if I wanted to maintain the aspect ratio for all three axes, I can do so. Clicking it one more time, and they're all released. So now there are no links between the width, height, and the Z-range. In this case, I'm going to use the width and height uh, aspect ratio, but I'm going to set the Z-range um, independent. So I'm going to change the width of our project to 9 inches and click Apply. And uh, you can see that the height's changed proportionately, and now I'm also going to change the Z range. And we'll set the Z range at, uh, let's say, a half an inch. And we're going to click Apply. And we're also going to center the uh, deer in the middle of our model. Uh, one other place that we're going to go to take a look at some settings is in the Relief Clip Art Paste Options. You can see that this is so there's some other options here. Uh, the two that in particular we're going to take a look at here is the um, how to paste combine mode or the what is the paste combine mode. You see that we have options of adding, subtracting, replacing, merging high or merging low. Now for the most part these uh, settings only apply if we are using two models. In this case we're only using one. So if I was using two models and I merged high, the two models would basically crisscross over each other and at the highest spot they would merge. In this case the only two that are really of concern to us here are add and subtract. If I want to make a positive model of this deer, I'm going to click add, which means it's going to add the deer to, uh, the, to the material. Uh, in other words, it's going to be a positive. Supposing I wanted to make a uh, maybe a chocolate mold of this deer, um, then I would click subtract, and what it will do is it will reverse everything out. Uh, in other words, it'll machine that uh, the, the deer as a negative, and then if I was essentially going to use it as a mold, it, I would have what I'm looking for. So we're going to add. The other thing that we have the option to do is to paste the outline vector. In this case, we're going to do that. If I didn't paste the outline vector, there would be no uh, outline vector, and if I wanted to cut that uh, deer out, that's where in particular that paste outline vector will become important. So we'll go back to um, our transform option settings, and you can see that I can also change the origin location, the origin um, position. I can move the, the the model a particular distance along the x or y. I can also rotate it if I should, should so desire. But in this case, it's where I want it to be, so I'm going to click paste. And up here, just above the model, you see that we have the option to toggle the preview, the relief preview. And if I click that, you can see that we have our deer and it is showing us in the 2D model. 